Good morning. Welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. In today's video, I'm just going to share with you a little bit about packing and the process. So as you can see, I have a ginormous mess on my desk. Um, and that's just part of this process. I told you guys I have bunnies uh, on my table to pack and I was looking at my inks and I thought, you know, I better pull the book out to match my inks because I had set tumbled glass here. And I'm glad that I chose to look again because tumble glass is not the, the right color blue. I mean, it would work, but it's not the right blue. So I'll put that away. So then what I did is I was like, okay, well, I already have Uncharted Mariner out. That's going so in my Tim Holtz journal. So then I was like, salty ocean. No, put that back. Then I was like, okay, chips have fire. Well, that would work for a dark blue. So that's definitely... An option but I have the unchartered Mariner but I don't want to take the two blues so maybe I will you know just dual purpose the blue because these are awfully close in shade and I don't need to take both but then I pulled out stormy sky and I really like stormy sky with the cover so I think that stormy sky is gonna be my lighter blue and then I will just stick I don't know I mean I probably need to um, swatch these two test them and then I'll decide which color. So we can do that really quickly. I just have a scrap piece of paper here and um, I just have a stamp here. I, I, it doesn't matter. So let's just see. And I'm not looking for a good crisp image. I'm just looking for the color, right? To see which one is the better color. Oh, that chip sapphire is definitely a deeper blue, more of a navy kind of color. And so I think it's gonna be chip sapphire for the win. So, okay, so yeah. Stormy Sky and Chip Sapphire are my two blues that I'll take. And then I have to figure out the green because I, I'm pulling the greens and blues out of this book um, because that's pretty much the base colors in here. Um, and that's what I want to kind of stick with. I think it'll be fun. And so I have bundled sage here, which I think for a light green will work. And then we have the option of forest moss as well, which is a darker green. So I'm probably going to take those two. Okay. I have fossilized amber here, which actually would allow a yellow in here, but that's out for the bee journal. So that is gonna be a crossover as well. Then um, I did have um, my, I do have over on the table some stuff for a 12 days of Christmas, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that or not. I know, I'm not, I'm sorry, a December daily, excuse me, with the 12 days of Christmas, but I do wanna do Defemora Marember this year. So I'm like, do I take Christmas or do I focus on Defemora Marember? So I'd like your feedback on that. Um, and then, so I'll take you over into the next room and show you a little bit about what's going on over there. I won't have you on the holder, so hopefully I won't make you sick, but this is just kind of the process. And, you know, I have a pile here of things I'd like to take. I have, you know, scraps. Um, I still have to gather my coffee dyed paper. Um, I still have to finish some stuff for the 12 days of Christmas gifts. I need to gather beads, um, but I, I'm making really good progress. So I'm really hoping today I will be finished with um, gathering, but let's go in the other room and then we'll talk about it. Just for cute factor, here's Miss Chloe, you guys. She's in her little vintage suitcase and she's going to be uh, having her toys and all her little doodads hauled off in, hauled in the suitcase. Say hi, Chloe. Okay, so there's that. Let's try not to make you sick. Don't mind the stain in the carpet. It's some of the carpet that was still here when we moved and this room hasn't been done yet. This is the room that I'm working on to make my room. So there's one of my bins there. And then here's a bin here. So I already have put my um, stickles and liquid pearls. I have lots of glue sticks. I have my uh, distress glaze, beeswax. Um, some of my business cards, extra blades for my trimmer, clips. That's kind of what's in here. Um, and then, let's not make you sick. Here in this bin is, I'm not taking this apart, but over here we have um, 
my two bins of inks and stencils and some stamps, my book binding stamp blocks. Um, this is soft pastels, my brads and grommets and paper clips here. My work table lights go in this one and I still have this space that um, I have to work on. And then to spin around to here. And over here we have, this is the kind of the main um, table where I am gathering things. So that's my bunny bin, the bee bin. The bee bin is super full. I have some napkins to play with. I have my 12 days of Christmas or my December daily, I'm not sure, but I'm still not sure if I should take that or not. So tell me what you think. And then I have a bin here that's got Mod Podge, Gesso, um, matte medium, the glittery matte medium. And I don't know if I need to take all of those. I don't know. Um, clear Gesso. I have my Arteza markers there, my acrylic markers. This is embossing powder. I just haven't packed it away yet. Like it's ready to be packed, but it needs a good home, a good hole. And then I've got, this will get like scissors and knives and stuff. I have some zippers here. I'm waiting on some fabric um, to come because I need to choose my zipper color. My pens for my Bible journal and colored pencils. I still have to gather stencils. This box fits in that big bottom bin over there that was pretty empty. And so I was going through my card stock this morning and just chose a lot of different card stocks that I think will work well with the bees and bunnies. And even if I do take Christmas, but what's really nice is that the colors overlap. So bees are black, yellow, red with some green um, and the bunnies are blues and greens. So a lot of the stuff is going to overlap color wise, which is nice. I'm not packing as much and I'm doing that on purpose. Um, this bin is gonna be, oops, I'm sorry, trims and stuff for both. This is trims, this is gonna be neutrals, but I think I'm gonna put those in a different container. And then for my birthday, Mark got me a sewing machine uh, carrier, but I don't have my sewing machine put in there yet. And I also have Dumbo down here in a bag. Um, so I don't know how much I'm gonna get to this winter because last winter, well, hang on, let's go back over to my table where I can hang you up back up. Okay, so I don't know how much I'll actually be able to craft because last winter I had a really hard time crafting, but we were on the move a lot and back and forth and back and forth. Whereas this year we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to actually accomplish more than I did last year. It's my goal. Um, it was just so cold last year to go outside and do anything. And then of course, you know, you guys know if Mark can hear me, I would get all weirded out. Like he's in the bedroom right now, but he's got the door closed and it's fine. But, um, anyway, I'm just saying. Okay, so I still have, you know, my basic colors of ink to gather. Of course, I'll take probably just ground espresso. I probably won't take these, but I'll store these upside down and they'll stay like that for the, you know, winter. They'll be fine. I'm not going to take my big archival ink because I have the little one in my little bin. So that will be upside down. I'll take my gold and I will take my brown stays on just no, I won't because I have coffee in archival. So just kidding. Um, I will take my Versafine and then I need to put this in a baggie because um, you guys know that, actually, I wish I could just, maybe I'll find, do I have a lid for this somewhere? If I have a lid for this, I'll just mark this as my Versafine because that way I can set it in there and it doesn't get other things sticky, which is very interesting. I was actually watching a Tim Holtz video on embossing glaze the other day, which was super helpful. Um, but anyway, he was talking about the glycerin in this and the Versamark versus the, the Ranger embossing ink. So that was kind of interesting. But anyway, so I still have to figure, get all my glues filled, get my daubers packed. So there's just still a lot to this process. So I'm really not creating right now. I do hope to play after a while for a little bit, but I'm doing laundry and it's not raining right now. It has been raining a lot the last couple days. So we haven't really been able to haul stuff out to the RV. I need to put some of these hardware bits in a bag. I'm not gonna take the whole tin this year. Um, and I need book corners. So that's part of gathering the beads. So, um, 
yeah, so maybe I will get some beads out and start gathering those and we can, well, no, I'll just end the video here because I'll work on that. And um, I'd like to know what your feedback is about the December daily um, and what your thoughts are on that. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.